Today, we're taking a detailed look and review of the Go Bag Small 40 liter by Baboon to the Moon and talking about some likes and dislikes. It's one of the most stylish and unique travel bags on the market that's also surprisingly premium and functional. The Go Bag series are convertible duffel backpacks that come in three sizes below. This one's the small in navy. The best part about the Go Bags are the color options. In a world where most travel backpacks are black or gray, Baboon to the Moon says to hell with that and offers a variety of monochrome colors along with an ever-changing cycle of bright limited edition colors. In short, they're just fun, which the travel bag industry has lacked lately. Personally, I prefer the more traditional colors, but I do sometimes use brighter bags on purpose. So in touristy areas with higher rates of pickpocket and theft, I think it's less likely for a thief to steal a bright neon green bag at the risk of being spotted. I'm not sure if that's true, but it makes me feel safer. So based on the color options alone, I would say this bag could be worth buying, but after having it in hand, that's only the beginning. Jumping into the bag, I was surprised at how good the quality was. For some reason, I assumed the fun colors targeted to a younger age group would just result in a lesser quality, and I couldn't be more wrong. This bag is a tank. Starting with the straps, they are very wide and decently padded, which makes them comfortable along the mid-chest. However, at the top, the straps are a little narrow and they aren't padded at all, so when I was using it, it rubbed against my neck over time when I didn't have a jacket on. This is a duffel bag first, so don't expect to go backpacking with this thing but I think a longer strap coverage is a small change that could fix the discomfort. The straps are adjustable and have a subtle but awesome feature, these little clips at the end. So you can use these to latch the extra strap length to stop them from dangling. And so many backpacks have this dangling strap problem, so I wish all of them had these. Although if you're constantly adjusting the strap length, you'll need to unhook these each time, which is a little tedious. The straps have anchor points down the middle, but I wish there was a chest strap because at 40 liters fully packed, honestly this thing can get heavy. This is a convertible pack and the backpack straps are very easy to remove. By using one strap on these anchor points, you can turn it into a duffel. I'm 5'10", so personally, the duffel strap was a little too short for my liking, but it's not unusable by any means. I just like to carry duffels sitting below my hip. Moving to the sides, there's a zip pocket right here. Their website says it's a passport pocket, but please, please do not put your passport in here. The pocket is not lockable, and even if it was, it's easy access for a pickpocket. Always keep your passport somewhere less accessible. The bag also has daisy chain links around the whole bag, which are very thick and durable. And a grab handle on all four sides, which is always appreciated. It made maneuvering the bag and car trunks, airplane overheads, you know, a lot easier. And here you have the Baboon to the Moon logo made of rubber. And honestly, this is the Achilles heel on an otherwise indestructible bag. Being made of soft rubber with raised pieces here, mine has already started to peel off a little, though the bag does have a lifetime warranty for any major damage or defects. Next up is material. The Go Bag uses a thick PVC that is durable and waterproof. The top of the bag has a matte finish, the daisy chains are a different material, and the bottom is a reinforced shiny material. And all bags come with color matched hardware, so the bag, the straps, zipper pull color, zipper track color, etc. It all matches. And this small attention to detail is what makes these bags eye-catching and special. The Go Bag feels more durable than most duffels I have, which unfortunately makes it heavy and is arguably the only big con of this bag. At 3.5 pounds, it's at the top of its size class, and even heavier than duffels, which carry much more. The weight, along with unpadded shoulder strap sections and no chest strap, led to a backpack carry that could have been better. Of course, this is a duffel first, so it does fine in duffel mode. Moving to the top of the bag, we have a large opening with a little rain shield that protects the zipper openings, and custom branded zipper pulls, and lockable YKK zippers, color matched of course. Inside, there's a large zip mesh pocket on the lid and the branded patch. The main compartment has two small pockets on each side, one is zip and one is elastic.
Otherwise, it's a standard duffel style carry with minimal organization on the inside and access to the whole 40 liters all in one space. And all the base models use this 150D recycled polyester lining with this rocket ship print. Overall, the Go Bag series by Baboon to the Moon was worth it for the colors alone, and this is a rare case of style and function, being one of the most durable bags that I have. However, the heavy weight and narrow straps by the neck could make it less than ideal to carry on some trips. It's a great bag that fills a much needed gap in the travel bag community. Fun and stylish without taking itself too seriously. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Comment below if you want a response, and subscribe for more everyday gear. Thanks.